I hear the love that you have for gay people. But Jesus has been talking to us. And we're bringing you a message. Right. So how can you just say, well, God is pleased with me. How do you know? The Bible said... Hello guys, you're yeah, welcome back. Hope you guys are uh, feeling good. My name is Bukumi Bike Kram. So this is a debate between Pastor Gino Jennings and a gay pastor. So let's check it out. Hi. Here, the spirit, here right? through the spirit. And I'm telling you, Brother uh, Pastor, yes. <laughs> I hear the love that you have for gay people and your call to repentance. I hear it, I feel it. You and I have talked before today. I wouldn't be here if I wasn't confident in, in your concern for all oh, of us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I wouldn't be here. I simply wouldn't have dignified the meeting with my, with my presence, you know. But Jesus has been talking to us. And we're bringing you a message like Paul brought, well, like please, Peter brought to the... Please read to us what Jesus is telling y'all. Paul and read Peter... Read to us. I'm That's telling, all I'm asking. Listen to what I'm saying. Paul and Peter didn't have a text to read either. Well, they well, said, the thing is, they they're said not here to now. I know. They're here. The scriptures they, are already written. So if Jesus is talking to you, and to say Paul them didn't have a text, yes, they did. They had the prophets. That's right. They did. They had the prophets, and it was written. They did. Now, if you say Jesus is talking to you now, then please show the world where Jesus is talking to you from. He's talking to me from the entirety of the book, Brother Pastor. All from right. the entirety so of the book. Did he say anything uh -huh. to you that it was all right for you to lay with the man somewhere in the book? Ben, he's talking to you from the entirety of the book. Right. Just show me one little section right. of the book yeah. and let Jesus talk. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> I want to hear him. Harry. I'm saying to you, Brother Pastor. I want to hear him, Harry. Brother Pastor, I do not, I, I cannot point to a place okay. in the book, and I would not presume to tell you that I could. Then how can you just talk about God so loosely and then say that it is justified in God's eyes? How can you say that about God? Uh, Listen, I, this is very serious. It man. is very how serious. Is, God is not a man. That's right. And we right. can't deal with him like he is a man. That's right. So how That's can right. you just say, well, God is pleased with me. How do you know? The Bible said prove all things. Oh, okay. That's right. And the script is called this a infallible proof. proof. Right. So you just can't off the wall and say, well... It's all right with God. How do no. we know? Yeah. This, uh, brother Pastor. Come on, Harry. You got to do my, better than that. My, I, I'm Your doing, soul is at stake. My here. soul is at stake, and I have staked my soul on this, on what I'm about to say to you. All right. I've read the whole book. Understandest what thou readest? I have read the whole book. Mm -hmm. I have sought understanding. I haven't stopped with just the English translation. I haven't stopped with just what my, my one pastor said you to read me. Greek? I, I read enough of it to make it work. Does, not, does Greek justify men with men? What Greek, what Greek says to me is that the places in the book that, that are used against us are not as clear as a lot of people want to make them out to be. Now, I said, in the Leviticus Code, it's clear, mm -hmm. but it was a matter of purity for the Jews for which we simply don't ask people, we, or about which we don't ask people to live up anymore, to which we don't ask people to live up anymore, to all of those, that long list of things. So we're going to deal with one thing. Well, but you're dealing with the thing that applies to me and not to you. No, now, don't now to me. you know, Pastor Jennings, I've got to come back and say, yeah. we have to hear this in community. This message has to be heard in community with Where our that brothers and sisters. Come from? The message is going to come from the book. Where? From the whole book. Where? Where? I don't, well, we about? must be we must be on a circuitous route. Let's let's back up. I am not saying to you that non-gay people, that heterosexual people mm -hmm. who didn't have an understanding of what homosexual orientation is or is about, sat down and included us in the book. They said did not. You're not in the book. The, You're in the book. Not, not, in, not specifically. No? Not specifically. All right. As, no, by that I mean to justify uh, sexual activity between men. 
I'm not going to say that it's there. What? what I'm saying to you is there are more overriding principles in the book that we use for every other topic under the sun except this one. The church is holding gay people to a higher standard, a different standard, oh, 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 than it is oh, oh, oh. on I, I lots disagree. of other issues. How is how are you being held to a different exactly. standard? The standard of God was woman man. made for the man. Right. That was God's yeah. standard. You trying to produce and uphold a different standard. Right. I'm trying to just deal with the standard that God have already established. You and your community is trying to bring about, in fact, Paul said to change mm -hmm. that which is against nature. Yes. You're trying to change it. Mm -hmm. and, and, and if it's God's will, mm -hmm. then it should be all right for me to do it. it it's, well, it should be all right for you to do it if it's natural for you to do it. If it is it, if well, your if it, orientation. If it's natural, wouldn't, wouldn't God have allowed natural men mm -hmm. in the book to do such an act? Because you must admit, everywhere in the book where the act is done, God wants to destroy them. God yeah. is against it. God sent the prophets or an apostle or a messenger to speak out against it. That's right. Where in the... All right, I'll tell you what. Being that you just don't want to deal with the Bible, let's deal with other books. Right. You familiar with the Quran? I'm not. Mm -hmm. Well, the Jews use the Old Testament, the Torah. Are you familiar with that? Mm -hmm. Is it anywhere in the Torah, or as the many Christians say today, the Gospels, where it is God's will, where you are justified by heaven, and where you will be saved for marrying a man and for sleeping with the man? I, again, Brother Pastor, we simply disagree. Okay. So in the end of the video, you said you disagree with the fact that there's no place written that man and a man should marry or man and a man should have babies. Okay, so this gay pastor actually had a debate with another pastor saying that, you know, Jesus accepted it, the fact that they should marry each other. That is, men and men, women and women should marry each other. So this person was like, where in the Bible was it written? What chapter of the Bible was it? No. Can you just quote the chapter? Let us read it. Because based on what Jesus said, a man shall stick to a woman. A man shall marry a woman. And the man was just, you know, saying he has read a lot about the Bible. He has completed the Bible. And the Bible never, you know, was never against such union. But the Bible never spoke about male, male getting married. Because there's no way the Bible will say, please, man and man, don't marry. You. Ah, man and man, oh, this, this, so. Woman and woman, no, oh, this, 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 so. The only one that makes sense is what, what the Bible spoke about. A man shall stick to a, a woman and they shall become one. Even in other religion, it is not written that the same gender should marry each other. It's not so. Even in Quran, it's not so. In Torah, it's not so. In other religious books, I don't think it's, it's so. So it's not something that God said it in his word. Or religiously it is allowed it's we humans that are doing what we believe is right God never spoke it even Allah never said it that oh yeah man and man marry so this man was trying to make a point but at the same time he could not prove because he was just trying to let the pastor know that oh man and man gets married is is not bad religiously is accepted that's the meaning of their debate. And the pastor was like, no, religiously is not accepted. When it comes to religion, it's not accepted. It's we humans that tend to bring up things that we believe suit us, that we believe it's, it's good for us. So along the line, the man accepted the fact that truly is not religiously. Assuming the, the pastor did not know the word of God, he might have as well be swayed or he might have agreed to what the, the gay pastor spoke about but he kept on hammering on me that put a chapter in the bible okay let's leave christianity aside let's talk about islam let's talk about 
Jewish, Jew, uh, Judaism, mm -hmm. is it allowed? And he said he doesn't know anything about Quran. Okay, fine. Do you know something about Judaism? He said, well, you know something about Torah. Is it allowed? No. So don't make it sound like religiously God allow or accept such things. No. So that's my opinion, guys. Let me know your opinion regarding this topic, guys. Let's keep this discussion going on the comment box. I'll see you guys in the next one.